What up guys, it's Sync. So I'm here in the new testing combat and I'm gonna be explaining to you guys how the um, enchants and everything, the stat changes work. I see my bud Solarium's running around taking everything out right now. But I just want to explain to you how the everything works since I must ever since I became on the ever since I became on the team as a class designer, I've been working on the server rant and I'm not too sure all I can tell you but I'm only going to explain to you guys the stat changes and how they work. So the first off, the most thing that you're probably going to find, the pro most thing you're probably going to figure out that's different is um, the parry and resisting mod as you see right there I parried. Um, basically what this is, um, physical class is parry, magical class is resist. It works both in the same as for physical and magical attacks. When you parry it drastically resist it, uh, whatever move that's done to you, little to none, no damage to yourself. The higher strength you have, the higher chance of the parry will happen. Same for intellect with resistance for castle classes. It will drastically lower the damage that they put on you. Um, that's basically sums up about the parry and resist. Um, the higher strength you have, the higher chance the parry will happen. The higher strength the intellect have, the higher, the most you'll probably resist. So with that, with that being said, I'll proceed on to the strength. The strength is basically the same thing, it increases your physical power. It also increases your amount of damage reduced by the parry and for a class that amount get the extra chance extra damage for crit. So now strength actually does what it's supposed to do, which is increases your critical strike damage. I just want to make that clear. And as you see, I'm attacking this dude and my weapon range is not changing because on the server all weapon ranges are the same, which is the 27 to 33 base weapon range uh, percentile. So, with that being said, I should prove, um, proceed on to intelli intelligence, where your intellect's at. Uh, again, it increases your magical damage, and it reduces the damage that, that does to you when you resist the skill and when they hit you. So, now, that's basically what the sums up about the uh, intellect. It's basically the same thing, guys, for strength and intellect. The higher intellect you have, it increases your haste a little bit and increases your overall magical damage. The strength increases your strength, increases your critical strike damage. The higher strength you have, the higher chance of parry, and the higher strength you have, the the more damage that it reduces when the parry is activated. Same for intellect with resistance. So with that being said, let's proceed on to the endurance stat. Um, now as for the endurance stat, well, this is the little stat right. So as you see, you have the parry chance parry mod, resistant chance resistant mod. Basically, this is exactly what I was talking about. The parry chance is basically on your strength, and the higher strength you have, this is the mod, which is reduces the damage of the parry. The same with the resistance and whatnot. But with that being said, let's proceed on to endurance. Endurance does, does the same thing, where increases your HP depending on how high the endurance is for the duration. For whatever enhances you have on for your class, it's going to increase your endurance. It increases your 100% contributes to your HP. Now, the main thing about endurance is it reduces all incoming damage from your attack. The higher endurance you have, the less damage that they'll do to on you. Now, when you think about it, physical classes are going to be much, much, much more tankier. That's what me and Yoromi want. The physical class is going to be much more tankier. The caster class is going to be more of the damage dealing, but more on the focus of healing, the ones that are able to heal, which is the main thing that we want to push forward on this um, server we write. And also, um, increases, um, it reduces all incoming damage, so when you think about it, heal it and chance that really focus on wisdom and endurance, which is really going to um, slap on a really nice damage resistance to your healer class as well. With that being said, let's proceed on to the dexterity and wisdom. These are the two main ones that um, kind of got tweaked up a little bit, in a way. So, dexterity and wisdom, they are pretty much the same. Dexterity still works, and wisdom still works to increase your hit chance, crit chance, and evasion chance. Crit chance for the respective classes that really focus on crits for the magical and physical damage classes. Um, basically, what this does now is dexterity increases the parry chance, and wisdom increases the resistance chance, as long with the um, dexterity and wisdom with the um, strength and, uh, and, and intellect. So, let me make this clear with you guys. The extremely wisdom increases the chance of resistance and parry and happy, and the strength of the intellect resists the damage. I might have uh, missed that up a little bit when I was talking about the intellect, but I'll make sure I clear it up right now. So, dexterity and endurance will increase the chance of the parry happen and increases the chance of the resistance happen. The strength and damage will reduce the damage when it activates. So, when you look at it, evasive classes and um, spellbreaker classes are really going to have a higher chance of resisting and parrying 
knock it off most of the damage that comes off to him, which is a really nice, really, really nice thing to do to help out the um, lesser classes with the thieves and the spellbreaker based classes. Um, one other thing about it, um, wisdom has one more effect. Increases your all healing output. This is why I said um, when I was talking about the healer, when you put spellbreaker and healer enchants on a class, on a healer class, it increases your overall healing output. The goal is to make the wisdom stat a healing stat. Uh, when I heard about this, I was like, okay, I can kind of, I can kind of work with this, just because uh, the overall spellcasters, spellbreakers have the ability to heal themselves. Besides, only when that doesn't is um, battle mage. Which is actually an absolute uh, physical onslaught. But with that being said, it's um it's really it's really it's really cool how um, it's all set up and whatnot. And I'm trying to explain it as quickly as possible and as fast as possible. Um, the next thing I want to explain about is the luck stat, which is the main thing that has been changed. So I want to be definitely clear about this one. So the luck stat significantly has been changed. The luck has a very small chance that. Uh, going off of your secondary stats and your secondary stats it doesn't source off them a lot which is your hit chance, quick chance, haste, and evasion chance so a lot of classes that really people like throwing on luck on it's, it's not gonna work at all it's really gonna lower your output and it's really gonna lower your chance of resistance and parry so be sure you remember that the only thing that luck really sources on is luck based classes like leprechaun, card clasher, chaos shaper uh, Evolved Leprechaun, Unlucky Leprechaun, those are clear examples of luck based classes that luck would definitely source on. They're the only ones that they're going to definitely source on. A few others, like enchantments that work with best with classes. Uh, from now on, Mage classes and Fighter classes will use Strength or Intellect from here and out. Mainly what that means is you want that Intellect, you want that Strength to resist the parry damage, and I mean to increase the parry resistance and re resist the. Uh, resist the parry resistance and resist the resistance of the parry. <laughs> oh, that's a tongue twister right there. So let me just wrap it up real fast with you guys. The higher intellect, the higher strength will lower the damage of the parry and lower the damage of resistance. The higher dexterity, the higher intellect, excuse me, and the higher wisdom will increase the chances of resistance and parry happening. So with classes that have really high dexterity like Blade Master or really high wisdom like Bard, they will be resisting and parrying a lot more often than you would notice. Other than that, that's basically all I can say. Uh, there's a lot, let me just say, there's a lot in store. There is a lot in store coming soon after this rewrite. Just stay with it. We're on it. We're doing our job. We're doing everything that needs to be coming. But I'm not too sure if I can tell you everything that I have been told because it hasn't been public, publicly announced yet. So I'm just going to leave it alone. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, just message me on Twitter or just write a comment in below and I'll make sure to um, I'll explain everything. Um, as for the damage wise in classes, um, some classes have a little bit more damage because they're really focusing on strength. You really want to focus on the luck when you make sure we balance out the luck and making the strength and intellect actually what they're supposed to be actually sourcing on the classes making them a lot better. You see classes that's going to have really higher damage over time really higher heal over time, especially classes that do that. As you see Solarium right here, he has um, Rogan right here, but you won't be able to see it. Um, let's see, let me let me see if I'm able to put on a class that um, has it. Let's see, oh, what's a good one? Um, let's put on um, Evolve Shaman. I probably have to go back to the hub and put it on. Uh, I'm in the, hold on one second. I don't want to log out. So apparently I'm in combat. Which I am not. Let me try to leave. Go back to testing hub. Alright. Now, let's grab a class. Uh, what did I say? Evolve Shaman. And I'll probably not be able to find it in here. Here's Evolve Claw Suit. Um, how about I just grab something? I just want to show you on the, the difference in the classes or whatnot. And the difference in the. Uh, Heal over time effect and the damage over time effect. Oh, there's Evolve Shaman right there. Boom. Get class. Well, let me get class. Give me one sec. Oh, now Pico Mask pops. So, so give me one second, guys. I'm going to grab this class real quick. Alright, guys. So I decided a class that has a heal over time effect and damage over time effect to show you guys the difference of what I mean of the stats. Um, as for um, a hybrid, you still want to go with hybrid. 
actually we're not even finished um working finished working on the hybrid i'm not too sure what i can tell you about it but we want to make hybrid actually stand out and make you really think why do i want to be a hybrid and what can i do to make me stand out as a hybrid so we're still working on the hybrid uh we're not really too sure how it's gonna source out in the end but we're gonna see how that works so i'm just gonna throw in some quick enchants um uh this is still good uh actually this is luck based i don't want that on me right now uh let's do fighter this i might look i might look weird guys i'm just saying right now i don't want to throw on stuff that has the ability to throw on a wizard uh spell bound so as you see the difference in everything as you see i'm not too sure if they changed it oh i forgot ah god dang Oh, there's there's the healer of time right there. As you see, the healer of time it only ticked once because some classes are still extremely buggy. I forgot time killer is one of the classes that is extremely buggy. So let me go to evolve shaman real fast. Let's see if let me put it on. There we go. All right, so now I want to throw. I'm just gonna put the whole hex set on. How about it, guys? Let's do it. So, um, now I can't throw on any armors because of the rewrite. But as you see. Boom, cold burn. As you see, the damage every time is a lot more stronger if it ticks. It'll ticks soon. It's not gonna tick for me. It doesn't wanna tick. Uh, might be a little bug. Uh, let's see the heal every time then. It does not wanna tick for me. I don't know why. I don't know. It just doesn't wanna tick for me. That's extremely weird. So. It does not want to tick for me. Uh, but basically, heal over time, classes that really have really low heal over time and damage over time for no reason at all, they're going to get some love. Let's just say that. They're going to really get some love. They're going to really get that nice heal at time. As you see, in Time Killer, it ticked once like 118 when the original was like only like 40. So that's a clear uh, mindset of looking about it. Um, it's going to drastically change in the effects of. Uh, everything PVE, PVE, soloing and whatnot, and for classes that really have the really terrible heal over times and damage over times. <coughs> Excuse me. They're really gonna get their luck. Not luck, but they're really gonna get their power that they deserve and the power that they needed. Like for um, let's say a class that had really like ele um, elemental dragon is pretty good damage over time, but all damage over time and heal over time are gonna be slightly um changed. This is Solarium. He said his uh. <laughs> This be all the awesomeness. But yeah, this basically sums up this video, guys. Um, as for report, make sure you be very descriptive in your report and tell you exactly what's wrong with it, as we have to do. The same thing we were doing practically, we have to do. We have to really test it out. You have to really make everything really, really um, specific and as much details as possible. Like I said, if any questions you have is ask me in the comments or ask me on Twitter or whatnot. I would be definite to answer anything about it. Uh, as for things that I'm allowed to answer, I'll answer it. Excuse me, if things I'm allowed to answer, I'll answer off the back. If I'm not allowed, then I'm probably not going to even answer or I'm probably going to say some crazy stuff that doesn't even revolve around the answer. Nothing that, that you wanted to hear. But as what I'm as allowed to do and what I'm able to do, I will explain it to you. As for the stats and enchants, um, I'm gonna let this upload and I'm just still gonna be running around um, the test hub and explaining how everything is gonna be really set up. And like I said, I can only explain of what I've been told and what's been announced publicly. So with that being said, this basically sums up this video. Like and subscribe, share with all your friends. I'm Sync. Catch you guys later. See ya.